With three-cylinder vehicles becoming more and more popular in today's automotive industry, I've gone ahead and found two very different three-cylinder turbo sport cars. One is currently the world's most powerful production three-cylinder turbo on the market, and the other is probably one of the least. Now, the aim of today's comparison is to get both of these cars out, go over the specs, drive them, and find out just how far three-cylinder vehicles have really come. Now, just before we introduce both of these cars, a huge thank you goes out to Vans West, located here in Perth, Western Australia, for loaning us both of these two vehicles today. These are currently both listed for sale, so if you guys are interested, a link for them is in the description below. Now, starting off with the one you guys are probably all familiar with is, of course, the 2021 Toyota GR Yaris here. This is a homologation rally car and is currently the world's most powerful three-cylinder turbo production car. This has 268 horsepower and about 270 pound-foot of torque, mated to a six-speed manual running all fours. Now when we go over to the Honda S660, this is probably one of the least powerful three-cylinder turbos on the market. This, of course, is a Japanese-only K car. This has a 0.6 liter engine, making about 63 horsepower and about 77 pound-foot of torque. These were offered in either a seven-speed CVT or a six-speed manual like we have in this particular model. These are mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and they are offered in this very cool kind of roadster configuration where the roof does come off. Now over with the Yaris, of course, this is a three-door hot hatch. The engine is at the front of the vehicle, and this is a lot more hefty than the S660. This weighs in at about 1,280 kilos, where when you come to the S660, this weighs in at about 850. Now with this GR Yaris, this is a brand new vehicle, completely 100% stock. Obviously here with the Honda S660, this is totally outrageous and not factory. This is running a custom Liberty Walk body kit. It's got different wheels, different suspension, but engine wise, this thing is running basically standard power. So let's go ahead and see what these cars look like on the inside. Now on the inside of the Honda S660, it's tight. This is a K car. This is meant to be like an economy car in Japan, but for what it is, it's pretty nice. You know, you've got some leather up here, really nice seats, great shifter, really nice gauge cluster. Even the wheel is really good wrapped in leather here. It's pretty good for what it is, this car. Now on the inside of the GR Yaris, look, you do get a little bit more room in here. It's quite bland though, but has really nice seats. It's got a good shifter. You do get an infotainment system that you can use. And the wheel feels pretty nice also, but let's get this thing out of the road and see how it actually drives. This car is fast. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Look, I don't know if you would call it, you know, sport car fast, but for what this thing is, a three-door hatchback with a three-cylinder turbo, this car moves you very, very quickly. The three-cylinder in this, the 1.6 liter, this is how you want to do a proper fun three-cylinder because you just really feel like you've got so much power and torque. Look, you still got to rev this car out. There's no getting around that. If you're in a higher gear and lower RPMs, this thing can feel a bit laggy because you really do need to spool that turbo up. But as soon as you're around that three and a half, four thousand RPM seems to be the sweet spot, this car flies. So this does actually offer a couple of drive modes. We've got sport, track, and normal mode. Normal mode, the majority of the power is up at the front wheels. 
put it into track, you get a 50-50 split, then you chuck it into sport mode or drift mode as I like to call it, and you get a 30 up the front, 70 at the back power delivery, which is pretty cool to have. Now there is no adjustability with the dampers or anything, which would have been nice because this ride is a little bit harsh. It's not terrible though. The six speed manual in this GR, it's nice. You know, it's fairly short. Shifts are pretty easy to get into. The clutch is nice and easy. And with the driving position on this Yaris, look, it's probably not ideal. You do sit kind of high up. It's definitely not as low slung as the S660. The S660 is honestly like you're sitting on the ground. And look, the view from out the front is decent, but your rear view mirror kind of does obstruct your view quite a bit in this car. And you know, eventually that will kind of get on your nerves. She's fast though, this thing, it's not slow. And for a three cylinder, it's very impressive. This car would definitely take some four cylinders in a race, I reckon. Now, in the S660, we have removed the target top because this just really makes this car feel that much more open and enjoyable to drive. And just getting out of this car park, you can already see the issue with this car being that the suspension, the coilovers that this has, make it extremely harsh. And just open her up a bit. Oh my goodness, you know, 63 horsepower, you can feel that this thing is not fast, but man, you can tell this is enjoyable because the noises this car produces, just the sense of speed and how low you are in this thing, it's unlike any other vehicle you've probably ever been in because you literally are sitting inches off the ground and you can feel literally everything about this car. You know, the suspension is very harsh, so you feel every little bump in the road. The steering is very connective. There is no power steering on this car. So, you know, there is just no play in this thing. You just move the wheel and it is sharp and it is quick. And look, we got up to about 65 there, and man, was that a lot of fun getting there. That is the beauty of this car. Uh, you know, it's, it's a car that is just so much fun to ring out. And it goes all the way to about 7,500 RPM. It's something special, this car. You know, Hondas are renowned for loving to rev out. This one does it as well. And look, it is no VTEC, but man, for what it is, this has got a lot of charm. <laughs> and look, lightness is a big aspect. And this weighing only about 800 kilos, it really still propels this car enough to an enjoyable level. You know, look, the zero to 100, we've done one before in this car and it was something stupid like 10 seconds, but it is a lot of fun to get there. <laughs> and the noises, the top off, the senses running through your body, how low you are, again, this car just hits on another level. The gearbox as well is just phenomenal. Honda do some of the best in the business and this one is no exception. Feels like it's almost straight out of an S2000. And the shifts are just really crisp. 
This, this thing is a go-kart. I tell you what, the steering is just so quick. The seats are comfortable. They hug you enough. For a driver's car, this is amazing. Now, I have seen examples of these S660s. Get some modifications done to them. Go get a tune and produce over 150 rear wheel horsepower. And to me, that would be an absolute perfect number. Double the factory horsepower figures in this setup. Man, that would be a lot of fun. This really is one of the most fun little cars I have been in. And for only 63 horsepower, <laughs> This thing turns some heads too, I tell you what, guys. What a little machine. <laughs> My goodness, what fun. Now we are so lucky here in Australia that we are allowed to legally import these. Not many countries will be. I do know the UK is able to, but other countries like America, you're not gonna be able to do it, unfortunately. Now, just how far have these three-cylinder vehicles come? Well, the Toyota GR Yaris is an absolute marvel. The fact that Toyota could cram that much power, create that much speed out of a three-cylinder turbo it's incredibly remarkable and shows you just how far three cylinders have really come. Now, when we look at the Honda S660, this isn't a different class, this is a K car, but my goodness, how much fun is this car and the platform, the steering, the shifting, it's just impeccable. Now, if I was gonna make the ultimate little three cylinder sports car, I would be taking the engine out of this GR and putting it in the S660 because I absolutely love this platform, and if we could just kick it in the pants a little bit, this car would be bloody unstoppable. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have learned something. If so, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here, and we'll see you on that next video.